Today we're going to walk through starting a Vue.js project using a server stack template and how to get the most out of the great developer workflows that are built in and ready to go. Vue.js has become one of the most popular front-end frameworks to work with, and for good reason. Vue's focus on developer experience, documentation and code readability as well as many other strengths have made it a highly productive web framework. This enables teams to build great performing web applications that remain maintainable as your project grows. The Service Stack X tool has a Vue Spa template that leverages the advantages of a Service Stack backend while building your Vue single page application, also known as an SPA or Spa. Today we'll look at how you can use this template to get a great developer workflow, enabling you to build vertical features from the backend web services to the front end functionality with minimal context switching. First, we'll need a few things installed. You'll want the latest .NET 5 SDK, the Service Stack X tool, and the latest LTS release of Node.js with NPM. To install the Service Stack X tool, you'll need to run the command .NET tool install gx. Once the Service Stack X tool is installed, run the command x new space view hyphen spa space view demo. In this command, Vue-spa is the name of the project template we'll be using, and Vue-demo is the name we are giving the new project. This will set up a Vue single page application that is combined with a server stack backend. Once the command has completed, we can open it up in our favorite IDE and run it to see it working. For this walkthrough, I'll be using JetBrains Rider, but you can use your preferred IDE for .NET Core and web development. Having a look at our directory structure, we can see the standard four project setup that is recommended for Service Stack projects. That is, the App Host project, the Service Interface project, the Service Model project, and the Tests project. Within the App Host project, which has the same name that you gave the template, we can see the package.json file. This is where the Vue application is set up with several NPM scripts to make local development more productive, which we'll look at shortly. When we run this application, we start with a page where we can see a simple text input that populates a h3 element with hello and the input provided. This is calling a service stack example hello service whenever the input value changes and uses the response to populate the h3 element. Let's make a change to this page to walk through how to get the most out of this template to make changes quickly. While your service stack instance is running, use the terminal or your IDE to run the dev npm script. This will run the Vue CLI to build and watch for changes as they're made, and perform a reload for fast turnaround on UI changes. For example, here we'll just change the background color of our H3 element and save our changes. We can see that the page is hot reloading when we save our changes, giving us instant feedback when we're making changes to our Vue application. Moving to our server stack application, if we're working on an existing service, we can use the .NET watch run debug to make our iterations faster. For example, we can change the response we're sending back to the client, update our input text, and see the new response coming through. While .NET watch isn't ideal for all types of backend changes, working on an existing service implementation is a good use case. Going back to our package.json file, we've also got shortcuts for build, serve, and lint for the Vue CLI. Testing can also be run from here if you prefer the command line over your IDE integrations. The template is already set up with examples for both end-to-end -end testing using the Cypress framework and unit testing using Jest. These tests can be found in the app host project under the tests folder. The last npm task to note is the DTOs task, which is a shortcut for us to update the service stack TypeScript DTOs that are used in our Vue application. This is useful for quickly updating your TypeScript DTOs after creating a new service stack service. An example of this would be creating a simple goodbye service stack service with a similarly named request and response DTO classes. Here we still have .NET watch running, so we're going to create the new DTOs and wire it up to a new service. Here we can see our new request and response classes are now present and ready to use in our application. Lastly, we can wire up the existing Hello API view component to also call the goodbye service and incorporate both results in the displayed message. Saving our changes and the page hot reloads showing results of both services instantly. The Vue Spa template is just one of many project templates Service Stack has on offer that is optimized for fast client and server development. 
Each template has documentation and written walkthroughs that come with the project templates, so you can always refer to these patterns easily when starting your project. The combination of a great front-end framework like Vue.js and all the advantages and features of a service stack backend enables rapid development cycles, resulting in a great developer experience. That's all for this video. I hope it's showed you some useful patterns that you can use, and thanks for watching.